Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to be doing well I don't understand it's it's mashed potato mashed potatoes fried bacon and fried onions and parsley to season it never heard of it but let's give it a go it was a request so let's get it done and that's everything I'm using, which is the potatoes in here, the parsley, the onions, and behind that is bacon. And as I as you always know, I always have a friend with me. And today it's a cup of coffee. Now last week I had a little accident um, so I've had to go out and buy everything all over again. I've got spoons and it actually now, I think I might be a bit big, but uh, they've got measurements written inside them. I don't know if that one or that one, but one of them is a tablespoon. You see, you can't see. You put your glasses on here, you might see something. Imagine they're no good. And I've also bought some measuring cups. That's one, two. But, you know, they're all the same as last. But like I said, I had a little accident. And these have, I, you can't, probably can't see. But they've got measurements written on them. Is that measurements or is that just as? Well, anyway, they've got measurements written on them somewhere. So I'm just going to just showing you. I bought two lots. Um, I didn't ra didn't find out till later on that they sell um, cutlery at, at Morrison's. But yes, I've got another lot. Got you know two sets of spoons. Put them all together, kid, okay, because you can't show them like that. So that's two sets of spoons. Now yes, they are connected together with a connector but I shall be taking that off when I use them so that's the other spoon, set of spoons as well and I've just shown you one set of dishes because it's the same same set of dishes as the others yeah you can see them yeah a bit near but you can see you can you get the gist gist gist, gist. you get the gist of it put them spoons back in there and oh it makes a nice little set doesn't it so yeah that's all i've been buying and obviously you've just seen the cup which is also took ages to come but it's brand new as well so what i'm going to do now is well switch the fry pan on which ring is it we don't want the same problem we had before uh that one right so bacon normally goes on four now if you don't pull the bacon from drawers here you can't see anyway like i said zoom out here you might be able to see the bacon no too far too far too far that's it oh don't get me on <laughs> that is bacon and you're going to say oh it doesn't look very healthy well that's what happens when you leave it in the freezer overnight and you'll get the out for your cooking video so all i'm going to do is roughly chop the bacon up and well just ch roughly chop the bacon up uh, the frying pan is not hot enough yet. Hold on, bacon doesn't need doing first. Onions will need doing first. But all I'm doing is roughly chopping the uh, bacon up. But I'm going to be putting the onions in the fry pan, or as you call it, frying pan. So yeah, they're cut up nicely, getting big chunks and cutting through them. I don't like these scissors, they're too sharp. So, but anyway, yeah. Please don't cut me, please don't cut me, that's it. Potatoes are starting to boil, turn them down uh, halfway, more, whatever. 
and like I said cut, keep cutting the bacon up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the get off get off what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the onions in the fry pan now the fry pan has been on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of the way when I put that oh wow oh weren't that a big sizzle eh? Hey? did you hear it was sizzling so much so and what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it over so it can easily be broke up why when I ever do I get onions or onions do I get part of the skinning with it no fault for buying frozen stuff get off I think I've put a few more in there like another clump and then sprinkle a few more so that is now the onions cooking away well cooking away they will be and then when they start getting a little bit more cookie cookie what is it cooked that's it cooked oh my god you can tell it's early in the morning can't you what's the <laughs> <laughs> Once they get a little bit cut, I will add the bacon to it. Now the onions have all got covered in what bit of oil I put in. Some of them are changing colour, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the bacon. Now I'm not going to put any more fat in because bacon makes its own fat. Right, so I'll put that in there to the to cook, to soak. The bacon has not been cut up good enough, Kay. What are you messing that girl? Sharp this scissors I had. It made a liar of me. Man, it's probably gone blunt that by now. We'll get some more. I'm forever buying stuff, aren't I? Forever buying stuff. So now I'm going to let the bake catch. Oh, that smells gorgeous. Just probably needs some sausages with it. But yeah. Oh, and to. Uh, Put it, put some in while it's doing. Come on, oh, I'm going to say, I, I thought we weren't going to be friends then, the parsley. So that's parsley all in it. All I can do now is just leave that to cook. There we are. And you, as you all know, I don't like my bacon crispy. Um, I like it just about cooked. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's how I like it. We all have this different preference. Some people don't like coffee, some people only like tea. Whereas me, I'm the opposite way around. I don't like tea and I don't, uh, I don't like, I'm going to say I don't like coffee. I don't like tea and I like coffee. Now while it's cooking, I can't even tell if that's switching on, it's that quiet. Yes, it's a different camera I'm using. Uh, I've been told I'm not having enough pepper in my life. Come on, a <laughs> bit. <laughs> that's quite a lot. But yes, I put some pepper, pepper in it. Probably combat, combat the bacon being salty, because I can guarantee it's going to be as salty as hope. So, so that is going to carry on cooking. 
the spud taters are nearly done I'm going to mash them in a moment the spud taters are now done I'm going to turn the ring off I'm going to drain them I'm going to add stop cooking the camera I'm going to add some marge and I'm going to add a little bit of milk and then I'm going to mash them and hopefully they'll all get mashed right I've mashed the spud taters I'm not very good at mashing the spud taters my, my wrist are, are so over time so it hurts um, the camera's not doing as I ask but I have a plate a plate it's just in shot and I've put some no good scooping <laughs> no good scooping taters out with me oofa doofa is it really come on get a grip girl and I'm going to take some spud taters they are mashed you don't have to use what I use you can use anything I know a woman who mashes her spud taters with egg and milk but you can do you can use what you want well what you can use what you want and you saw the end product but this is it together you can't see, you can't see key that's the end product together this can camera slanting as anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to get some of the honey ends and the bacon and the spud taters a bit of spud taters i love spud taters especially mashed mashed spud taters and try it Take that bit off because that's hanging. Mmm. It tastes like some of the honey ones have got burnt. But it doesn't matter, it's not made it a bad meal. Well, a case that it was nice, um, well, it was actually, like, um, as I took a, I don't know if you saw, but I pinched another bite, um, oh gosh, there's going to be a link in the description to my merchandise, which you've seen I've got, which has finally come, I know I said I've got one, but it's finally come, um, the description to my merchandise if you like what you see please keep viewing me if you want to give me a thumbs up please do if you want to leave a comment and a recipe i know a lot of you are and i am getting around to them i've just got to fetch the stuff in so if you want to leave a comment and a recipe please feel free the more than maria and if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed get them subscribing get yourself subscribing get everybody subscribing thank you bye